Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Okay, we're back. We're live. I'm Jay Fidel. It's a given Monday. Here we're going to do Think Tech Asia. And we're going to talk about inter-Korean relations and the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics um, with two Korean professors who just happen to know each other. Actually, they're married. <laughs> <laughs> One is Professor Yoon Kyung Na, that's the lady at my left, and Seok Woo Lee. Uh, Yoon Kyung Na is at Yonsei University, and Seok Woo Lee is at Inha University, and they're close enough so they can actually be husband and wife, live together, was it near Seoul? No, near Incheon. Near Seoul. Near Seoul. Near Seoul, okay, yeah. okay. You know, a funny thing is that, you know, we all know that, that Korea is of interest in Hawaii, and it's of interest maybe lesser in the United States. Mm -hmm. um, but recently, and thanks to Kim Jong-un, I suppose we should thank him for this, people have paid more attention <laughs> <laughs> to Korea right. than, you know, than ever before, really, since the war, actually. Um, and th that's why the Korean Games, the Olympic Games, Winter Games now in, in, uh, uh, in Pyeongchang are so important and interesting to everyone mm -hmm. because it's a magnet, it's a, it's a lightning rod for everything, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, I'm going to talk to the lady first, okay? Yeah. Because ladies first, right? <laughs> so <clears throat> let, me, let me explain what I mean by that. Um, Yoon Kyung Na is uh, studied, and you, you've been on the show before to talk about yes, this, yeah? Yes, about yes. feminism and, right. and women's rights, right. and women's rights play into the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that first. Right. How, and this is about comfort women during World War II, right? Mm -hmm. How does that play into the Olympics right now? Actually, Japan, Japanese Prime Minister Abe came to uh, Korea to participate in an opening ceremony of Pyeongchang Olympics. And the issue that he uh, raised with uh, our President Moon was, you know, a comfort woman. Actually, in, 19, in, in 2015, uh, the, our ex-President Park and Abe made a kind of agreement about uh, how to solve the comfort woman issues between two nations. And the way that they reached agreement was not agreed by the Korean, uh, Korean, Korean people in general, and comfort women themselves. So um, many of Korean people just want to make it re redone, um, redo it again, redo it. So. Um, uh, what was the flaw? What was missing from actually, the agreement they made didn't, earlier? They didn't participate in this, these comfort women's opinions in the agreement. So it wasn't uh, reflected in the agreement itself. Well, well, so, how is, but how is the agreement less than accurate? Actually, they never asked for money from um, the Japanese government, but uh, they agreed to uh, give them money. Like, it's, it wasn't a big money, nonetheless. Reparations. Right, right. But they didn't ask for the money. They did ask apology, since the apology from the Japanese government, yes. but the agreement didn't uh, include the, that, that part. So uh, uh, most of Korean thinks that you have to be redone okay, by fair this enough. newly uh, you know, born uh, government, I mean the uh, regime of President Moon. Mm. So, but the, uh, Abe quite you know, angry, ups, angry about it and he, he would never it, take the, 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 the request of Korean uh, citizens. So, but he, this time, brought about the issue again with President Moon. Yes. But um, he said, but we don't know how it goes. You mean it's not done yet? No. They're still talking. And besides, uh, Abe won uh, just, you know, uh, during the Olympic Games, you know, Korean government and U.S. government Agreed upon the delay, the U.S. How do they call this? Uh, uh, both sides of uh, regular uh, exercise, like you mean the military exercise? Right, yeah. right. Uh, we delay. We decided to delay the uh, exercise, military exercise during the Olympic Games. But Abe didn't want it. He want. He didn't want to go ahead with the exercise. Right, right, right. So uh, he asked. Uh, President Moon, that you shouldn't delay the exercise, and uh, President Moon said, "That's our domestic matters. You shouldn't be involved in this kind of decision." So yeah. um, 
it, there is an issue between the two nations. And um, when you say issue, you mean they don't agree. Right, right. They don't agree. Each other. Yeah. Yep. So this is very interesting. As I was speculating earlier, the Olympics is a kind of magnet for all these issues and anything could come up. Uh, even if it wouldn't otherwise come up. Mm -hmm. So you hear, have here um, what President Moon is asking Abe, right, to redo the agreement, no, or uh, is Abe. Abe asking Moon to redo right. the agreement? So what are their respective positions then on how the agreement should be redone? I mean, it should be more uh, more inclusive of uh, comfort women's opinions. Ah, okay, okay, mm -hmm. and that would be specifically what? What points? I mean, uh, as I told you before, it, since your since your apology from the Japanese government, they, so the the comfort women would be entitled under the new agreement to an apology from the Japanese government. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen before. No. Interesting no. that it didn't happen before, because it would seem obvious. Right. I guess there was some interesting negotiations mm -hmm. that went on before. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was before, but uh, uh, Abe Abe regime kind of reversed it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so Abe wants to be conciliatory about this. Am I right? Is it true? No, the, uh, the what Japan's position and Abe's position is that uh, they want to close this issue as early mm -hmm. as possible. He yeah. wants to, yeah. Abe wants to close it. Right. Mm -hmm. He wants to satisfy the expectations of the comfort women. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. good of him, isn't it? Yes, and uh, from that uh, agreement, uh, a so-called that is, uh, uh, you know, we don't have any the tax version of the agreement. It's a you know, cross conference the, by the uh, uh, two uh, ministers of the foreign affairs to countries that make a speech statement mm -hmm. what they agree, right? And in the agreement, so that the agreement, they want to close that the comfort women issues the completely and irreversibly. So that as uh, uh, you mentioned that uh, uh, that uh, agreement does not reflect the fully about the, what the victims yeah. the, uh, they want. Yeah, yeah. So that uh, what, uh, after change of the government, the South Korea, uh, the government, the uh, investigate what is going on at the time. And that the, the team did declare that uh, uh, there is uh, some issues to come up to, to, to that issue. So that uh, they uh, have to uh, 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 to, the, uh, to say that it is unable, uh, yeah, they are not able to to comply with the oh. with the agreement. Oh. So mm -hmm. that is now the uh, one of the hard issue between the uh, Korea and Japan, and uh, uh, over the issues whether uh, the Abe participated in the Pyeongchang Olympic, uh, the Japan raised that uh, uh, that issues was a uh, uh, big obstacles for Japan, so Abe to to participate in the opening ceremony. So when uh, they have a meeting the, between the Japan and Korea the summit, they talk about the issues. Or say, but uh, as you mentioned, that, that they uh, uh, have, you know, they have a disagreement on the issues still. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now, the agreement only concerns the comfort women, or is there more to it than that? The that issues are uh, about the comfort women issues. It's so interesting. Right. Right. So, uh, how is this going to wind up? I mean, right now, is it in active negotiation right now, or is it waiting for the Olympics to be over? Uh, where are we going on this? Maybe dur not during the Olympic Games because it's this, peaceful. This, this, everybody should be smile, right. <laughs> happy. Right. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. but after the games are over, they'll they'll get to it. I suppose there's plenty of pressure that I they should so. finish the job. I guess so. So, what do you think will happen? Will the comfort women? Will they be represented in this deal? Will there be a, an appropriate apology? For the time being, it should be very difficult for both sides of you know, nations because mm -hmm. you know Japanese citizens and Korean citizens are not agree upon the, the agreement that two uh, Abe and uh, our ex-president mm -hmm. made. Yeah. So I think it will go on for the time being. Oh gee, too bad. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it seems, it seems clear what should happen. Um, is it a matter of face? Is that what we're talking about here? I mean, are there other diplomatic issues under the surface that make it hard for them to come together, or is it just a question of national face? Not only uh, comfort women, the comfort woman is one of the issues derived from the uh, uh, Japanese colonization over Korea, and uh, and we also has uh, uh, some uh, territory and the maritime issues between two countries, mm -hmm. and there are also forced labor issues. So that uh, I, uh, when I come here to talk about the legacy of the uh, uh, late Professor John Van Dyke, 
uh, I, 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 you know, pretty, pretty mention about the, what kinds of issues we have the, with uh, with the Japan. And all the uh, uh, issues uh, uh, derived from that the, uh, colonial period is not solved at all. Uh, still, at this moment, you know, yeah. uh, we uh, in, got the independence 1945. Right? Still, uh, the 70 years the past, more than 70 years have passed. But still, we're talking about the past issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, to take this out for a minute, take take the uh, comfort women issue out, take this agreement out. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the you know current diplomatic and popular relationship is between Korea and Japan? Is it friendly? How friendly? Um, aside from this issue, are there other points of contention? No, I think the you know, uh, the, the diplomatic and uh, also the uh, the strategic. The perspective it is quite odd uh, because, uh, you know, as you know, that uh, uh, traditional, uh, 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 you know, alliance should go to, you know, the United States, Japan, and Korea, the one side, mm -hmm. and the other one is maybe Russia and China and the North Korea. Right. But uh, uh, at this moment, it's quite, uh, quite uh, uh, a different posture we experience in these days because. Uh, United States wants Korea to talk with the Japan in more uh, favorable condition, right. but the dead issues are still uh, to to side that cannot overcome easily. Right. So, so that it stands in the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, also uh, you know in terms of the, the issues of the South deployment of the U.S. South deployment in the Korean the uh, uh, the peninsula yes. caused the tension between the Korea and China. Mm -hmm. But uh, as, as you know that the economic ties between China and Korea is a very strong in yes, these days, yes. so that the one uh, uh, aspect of the economic relations and the other relations with the, based on the, uh, the security issues, it's a little bit difficult mm -hmm. to pin down how the South Korea the governments to put that uh, 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 you know, diplomatic the, uh, the posture for the future. So in a sense that the, uh, 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 this Pyeongchang Olympic uh, provide us that the very uh, good moment in some sense, yeah, yeah. although we have to see that what is what will happen after mm -hmm. after Olympic, mm -hmm. but uh, the uh, the uh, Korean government, uh, in particular the uh, President Moon's uh, emphasis on the uh, Korean Peninsula issue is that uh, you know, so-called the sit in the driver's seat. He wants to sit in the driver's seat to drive the uh, 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 want to be a main uh, the driver whole uh, the Korean Peninsula issues. But the issue is that the uh, atmosphere surrounding the car uh, is not uh, quite uh, easily uh, to to navigate. So that uh, that issues also give us the uh, some of the difficulties for the United yeah. States how give uh, South Korea to navigate yeah. uh, idea uh, yeah. how, how to how to well, move so along. what's the what's the sea change on this I mean it, it, I, I take it that the Olympics and uh, an opportunity for discussing this kind of issue uh, the Olympics in general causes people to look at it and see what you know what is the nature of the relationship we're working together on this we're together in Pyeongchang mm -hmm. um, but what's the sea change are things getting better are they getting more friendly? Are they getting less friendly? Are they the same? Yeah, it's a quite interesting thing is that uh, uh, looking back to uh, uh, you know, the history between uh, inter-Korean relations, we had uh, two uh, inter-Korean summit meetings between the year 2000 and year 2007. At the time, the Korea was uh, governed by the uh, democratic or so-called the, 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 a bit the progressive the, mm -hmm. uh, the regime, mm -hmm. which emphasized uh, engagements rather than isolation of the North Korea. And that uh, this Pyeongchang is, I think, in a sense, the quite a good, good momentum because uh, only when South Korea has the, uh, the progressive regime in the uh, Olympic Games, either Olympic Games or the sports games, we have a chance to have a united team, mm -hmm. right? No uh, uh, chances we can see that when conservative the, uh, parties the, uh, uh, was the ruling a party, yeah. mm -hmm. the, the, the uh, governing uh, the yeah. party. So that uh, this is a maybe a good moment to, right. to, to change the whole situation yeah. because uh, it's the beginning of the, the new government. But the thing is that the atmosphere was changed uh, uh, whenever the North Korea a uh, little bit you know, uh, uh, give us the, the uh, 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 you know, different signs, uh, uh, you know, uh, of this Pyeongchang participation, this Pyeongchang from the North Korea, the, uh, uh, North Korea uh, give us the, some sense. North Korea want to talk 
maybe talk to, to South Korea, so the South Korea to the United States give us a message yeah. how to the the uh, uh, sphere will be changed for the for the future. Yeah. But like what North Korea did, like the uh, launch of the missiles or, or, or yeah. the uh, development of the new nuclear uh, 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 the system, they may be a uh, you know a very uh, powerful or strong the backlash right. inside right. of the right. Korea too. Right. So that uh, I uh, I want to see that uh, if North Korea they uh, give us the uh, South Korea to play a room, mm -hmm. they give us the very uh, good benefits the right. many uh, uh, many stakeholders mm -hmm. in this region. Mm -hmm. right. oh, uh, you know, we are kind of suspicious of North Korean's uh, strategy, giving kind of confusing messages all the time. Uh, you know, reunification is not just political matters, it is also cultural matters. We know that they are sending two confusing messages, but you know, whenever we see that you know, two nations combined into one team, the, the mood or our you know uh, emotional uh, level sure. toward the North Korea is changing. I what, think, what is it changing to? I mean, we feel more friendly about not North Korean regime, but North Korean people, right? We kind of feel a lot of sympathy or... Their family. Yeah, we are. So um, it's not just political matters. It's just, it is very emotional and cultural matters yeah. too. Yeah. So, you know, although they are sending two confusing messages, yeah. you know, we, uh, having this kind of, you know, event as a one team is very important. Well, yeah, on the other hand, um, you know, um, Kim Jong-un is, um, uh, is not a stranger to playing games. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean sports games. <laughs> I mean diplomatic games. No. And I mentioned uh, to you that there was a, there was a discussion on uh, National Public Radio on Saturday, which I thought was very interesting, where they were making this, this comparison between the sports games and the Kim Jong-un games <laughs> and saying that, uh, you know, he knew mm -hmm. how you feel, you, the South Koreans, mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. about North Korea, how tantalizing mm -hmm. it is for you to think that in our lifetimes there's a possibility of reconciliation mm -hmm. of one Korea. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Just thinking about it now today with you, it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. But maybe he's just taking advantage of that. But we are not being misled by his strategy. We know there's another message. You know but games. I want to enjoy <laughs> this moment, you know. <laughs> after, after the two nations between one, this kind of emotional cultural unification is very important. After the two nations become one, without what if I have just antagonism or enemy kind of feelings about them? How can we be one nation, you know? Yeah, yeah. If, if we go so to wait, the, uh, wait, we're going to take sorry. a short break, okay? When we come back, I really want to hear about how you think this is going to play out after the Olympics. Right. You know, it's, it's really nice to see, you know, the touchy-feely mm -hmm. things happening during the Olympics. Mm -hmm. But the, the question is, what, what, what is the long game or even mm -hmm. the intermediate game mm -hmm. that he's playing? So exciting. Yeah. I can hardly wait till this break is over. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Howard Wig. I am the proud host of Code Green, a program on Think Tech Hawaii. We show at 3 o'clock in the afternoon every other Monday. My guests are specialists, both from here and the mainland, on energy efficiency, which means you do more for less electricity and you're generally safer and more comfortable while you're keeping dollars in your pocket. Hey, aloha, Stan Energy Man here on Think Tech Hawaii, where community matters. This is the place to come to think about all things energy. We talk about energy for the grid, energy for vehicles, energy in transportation, energy in maritime, energy in aviation. We have all kinds of things on our show, but we always focus on hydrogen here in Hawaii because it's my favorite thing. That's what I like to do. But we talk about things that make a difference here in Hawaii, things that should be a big changer for Hawaii, uh, and we hope that you'll join us every Friday at noon on Stand the Energy Man and take a look with us at new technologies and new thoughts on how we can get clean and green in Hawaii. Aloha. Okay, 
We're back, we're live, and now we get to the most interesting part about speculating into the future. Mm -hmm. Two professors to help us do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, you know, we have, we're, we're in suspended animation. Mm -hmm. Okay, the exercises that were planned are, I guess, being suspended for a little while. Um, we're talking about sort of olive branch kind of messages that have been sent. At the same time, we have nuclear threats mm -hmm. that have been sent. Mm -hmm. um, and and, and the, somehow, the Olympic Games, as, as they often are in the world, mm -hmm. you know, become a, a lightning rod, a, a pivot point. Um, and you have to look down the other side of that and figure out how the Olympic Games have affected these issues, what's going to happen on the other side. Um, so I guess my question is, um, what is going to happen? <laughs> on the other side. Where are we going to go? I mean, they're not, they don't last forever, you know, they end. They're going to end pretty soon. Um, what's going to happen? Who's going to know the right answer? But I think uh, after we have good mood between North Korea and South Korea, I think it, it will be very hard for Kim Jong-un to find very good rationale to shoot a mi missile again, right? You know, he, he sent his sister, you know, try to talk. Uh, He's going to look bad. If, if, he, if he starts making threats right after the games are over, mm -hmm. it's going to depreciate any value that he might have had in the, right. in, in the world right, view. Right. They're going to think he's mm -hmm. just, you know, playing mm -hmm. games. I don't think he, he want to look like a um, um, kind of, um, how they say, ir irrational, I mean, uh, towards the world. I mean, he, he tried to look good, I mean, especially better than Trump does. So I think after having good uh, atmosphere and mood and cultural reunification and seeing each other's cultural performance, I think it would be very hard for him to, you know, shoot a missile again. So I, I personally think it's quite, quite a good idea to make him difficult to find out a good reason to, you know, shoot On a moral right. level, or at least right. an appearance level. Mm -hmm. um, now, you're, you've been writing about and studying uh, uh, security, maritime security and other security, and that, I guess, re you know, refers a lot to the security between the two Koreas and in that in the region. Um, so how do you feel about this? You know, uh, if I had uh, something uh, uh, about the education is that, uh, you know, I. Uh, if we look at the history of the inter-Korea relations, and uh, uh, I think the uh, South Korea already paid a lot of tuition, so mm -hmm. we know mm -hmm. uh, uh, what will be going on the, uh, after Olympics. Uh, I think it is a bit premature to say that the North Korea de abandoned the nuclear program. Mm -hmm. uh, that is my uh, personal understanding. However, if you look at uh, uh, right now the. Uh, 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 you know, to geopolitical, the security uh, uh, dynamics in North, North Asia. I don't think the uh, North Korea is the only uh, key player to contribute to the instability of the region. Mm -hmm. Who else? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a United right. States. It's, uh, <laughs> you it, heard it here on Think Tech. <laughs> right. And uh, it's uh, quite uh, uh, quite uh, 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 odd to to hear about uh, uh, so-called you know the broad nose the policy and uh, 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 you know the uh, uh, you know, preventive the attack against the North Korea, despite the fact that the strong ally in South Korea they uh, want to be a seat in the driving seat. And I think the law of the United States it should be limited, as I mentioned, this, uh, the uh, uh, navigation. Mm -hmm. So if you drive your car, I, I, you pretty much refer that to the navigation, right? Yeah, gotcha. But if you know the way, mm -hmm. and also you can you know, sometimes refer that uh, what uh, the navigation say. Mm -hmm. But uh, who decides is a driver. Mm -hmm. So, but if the navigation is to say too much, Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that is a good thing for the driver. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my uh, understanding of the whole situation is that after Olympic is still there is a, some uh, 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 concerns. Uh, uh, North Korean uh, tactics or strategy is not the, what we think, mm -hmm. but I think despite the fact that we have to engage more mm -hmm. with North Korea mm -hmm. rather than isolation mm -hmm. and uh, uh, give us the uh, more time for inter-Korean uh, relations to mm -hmm. talk directly or uh, bilaterally. Uh, mm -hmm. In a sense that maybe uh, United States uh, feel a little bit uncomfortable, so-called the Trump passing, mm -hmm. do not refer to the uh, uh, Trump much, mm -hmm. and the uh, directly talk to the inter-Korean uh, uh, 
uh, to decide a, a very important one, let's say uh, more of the concrete uh, uh, you know, pathway for the, for the future of the inter-Korean relations. They may be a bit uncomfortable to the United States, but however, that if that is what uh, really people want to uh, live in that area, mm -hmm. I believe the United States give the way uh, for yeah. them to move. Yeah. Yeah. Now, there was a, there was a piece um, in the New York Times today mm -hmm. um, for the proposition, and I can't give you the detail on this, but for the proposition that, that the, to the extent that there's the possibility of rapprochement between the North and South, this actually undermines American influence the Trump administration's influence mm -hmm. uh, in both Koreas, and especially with South Korea, mm -hmm. with whom the United States has had a very close relationship mm -hmm. for many, many mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you agree or disagree with that? No, I partly agree with that, and that there is a possibility uh, 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 you know, United States, the government, strongly believe that uh, the, what happened in the current, uh, what happened uh, in Korean Peninsula uh, currently is not good with the uh, uh, U.S. national security interests. Mm -hmm. However, uh, as, as I mentioned, that the what will be the future of the uh, uh, national interest to the United States? The stability of the region is, mm -hmm. I believe, that the best. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. So that do not provoke much mm -hmm. against the uh, what North Korea is doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a sense, that, you know, uh, looking at the small story about the, what happened in the Pyongyang Olympics. Big, the vice uh, 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 president of Pence do not even talk to the uh, uh, the people that came from the nurse. Right. I don't think that he he didn't need that. That was silly, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He I missed see. a really he, good opportunity. He came out very small on that. Right. I think he would have been uh, regretful about it. I mean, it, it was a great opportunity, you know, to initiate yeah. the relationship between North Korea and, and the it wouldn't US. have hurt anybody. Right. You know? It's right. just being friendly. What's right, wrong with that? Right. You know, but to look for uh, um, look for a possibility of right, peace. Right. You know? he, his personal emotion could be like that, but it's diplomatic side. You know, he yeah. should have been more diplomatic. Yeah. With well, that this administration matter. is not known for the nuance of his diplomatic right. policy. But <laughs> so let me ask you one last question, mm -hmm. okay? And I think I have part of the answer. We only have a minute or two left here. Um, what is your advice to the United States now? So as I mentioned, that the repeatedly I, uh, I want to emphasize is that uh, United States uh, do not uh, provoke that, that the stakeholders in the region, like mm -hmm. the uh, South Korea and North Korea. South Korea want to do based on what they believe. I mean, back out? Is that what you mean? No, not the back out. But the, as I mentioned, that the law of the navigation, right, to yeah. give us some advice, yeah. but the, not the provoke directly using the term of the so-called the, the blood nose policy sure. or the preventive the Twitter, attack. The Twitter right. approach. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that, uh, as I mentioned, that the, who is a key player in uh, the, mm -hmm. uh, the maker uh, instability in North, uh, North East Asia? Yeah. I, I believe that the Kim Jong Un and North Korea is one of them, yeah. right? But uh, I, I, I really hope that uh, Trump will be uh, uh, not will be the, the second more reserved, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, more, the key yeah. player for the purpose. So, uh, Mr. Kim, what, what about um, what about uh, Kim Jong Un? Mm -hmm. He's complex. He's a very interesting man. They will be writing about him for a thousand years. Right. But what is your advice to him? What do you think he should do? You know, for the benefit of his country, and for the benefit of the possibility, however, right. you know, large or small it may be, of reunification. Right. I just want him to um, be serious about the destiny of the peoples of the peninsula. Don't take advantage of the fact that two nations are divided. You know, uh, I, I, I don't know if he has that kind of ability, but he should be. He should be very sincere, more sincere. As about, a Korean person. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Moon, what's your advice to him? Mm. It's not an easy question. Actually, I, I think he tries to make a balance between uh, progressive uh, citizens and very, you know, conservative citizens. He tried to be balanced, but sometimes he listened to what, you know, his heart saying. <laughs> so, yeah. You can't go too far wrong if right. you listen to your heart. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Professor. Thank you, pleasure. It's so right. nice to have you here. Yeah, Our conversation always. is only starting. There's more to come, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Aloha. <laughs>